The objective for today's video is that the student will be able to use a compass to copy a line segment. So let's go ahead and get started. To copy a line segment, we're going to need three tools. We're going to need our pencil, a compass, and a straight edge. Now you might notice that I'm using a ruler as my straight edge. You can use a protractor or any other type of straight edge that's hard enough for you to trace along. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a ruler because we're not going to be measuring anything today. Now to copy a line segment, we have four easy steps. Step one, let line segment AB be the given line segment. So you'll notice I have line segment AB and it's a line segment because it's endpoints because it has definite endpoints and we have named them A, point A, and point B. Step two, draw a ray. Now if you remember, a ray has a definite endpoint and it goes on forever in one direction. So it can either point to the right or it can point to the left. So I'm going to grab my straight edge and I'm going to trace it so that I create a line, a long line that's longer than the line segment AB. Now remember, we're making a ray, so it has to have an endpoint, and I'm going to call this endpoint point P, and it has to have it has to go on forever in one direction. And the other point on it, I'm going to name point X. So now we have ray PX. It starts at P, P is its endpoint, and it goes through X. Step three, with line segment AB as radius and with P as center, draw an arc that intersects ray PQ, PX at Q. Now I see two words in here, radius and center. And when I see those two words, I think automatically of a circle. Now we're all pretty familiar with a compass and usually the shape we draw, we use a compass to draw with is going to be a circle. And so when you open the compass, you create the radius for the circle. So if it's open small, you're going to create a small circle. If it's open wider, then you're going to create a bigger circle. But this is going to be our radius. And we want to take the pointy tip and we're going to put it on point A and hold it steady there. And then we're going to come all the way to point B. Okay? We are measuring the comp we're measuring the line segment using the compass. Now once we get it to the length of the line segment, you want to make sure to tighten it. And on mine, you tighten it on the top right here. Okay. Now we're going to take the pointy tip again and we're going to put it in point P and we're going to draw an arc that intersects ray PX. And that's an arc. And it this intersection, we're going to label point Q. Now, line segment AB is congruent to line segment PQ. And if you want to do a quick check, you can measure the radius again, or you can measure the length of, of line segment AB, and then place it over here, and they are congruent to each other.